<laughs> tell us a little bit about your journey and where you are yeah so um i have had like many doctors a lifelong dream of becoming a doctor and it started when i was very young my mom was a nurse my grandpa was a doctor my uncle was a doctor it's just something that always really appealed to me i was one of those weird kids that like would play dr barbie and like my <laughs> my patient Barbies would get in strange accidents and stuff like that. And it was probably not what normal kids would do playing with their Barbies, but that was what I did anyway. And then um, I started my medical career uh, at university at Ross university school of medicine. So that's a Caribbean medical school. Uh, It's in the small Island of Dominica. There's a lot of schools that are like that, that are kind of outside of the U S beer. They started in Caribbean islands and it will take largely a lot of U S uh, students, but we'll take a lot of foreign med- medical graduates as well, a lot from Canada. So I pursued so you, my. So sorry. Oh. So you are considered a foreign medical graduate as well. Yeah. So there's like international medical graduates that are U.S. citizens like me that went to a school that is U.S. accredited, but it's not on U.S. soil. And then there's the foreign medical graduate. Yeah. Those are the yeah. graduates who you know went to school abroad. That's and then me. came here. Yeah, like you. <laughs> and a lot of doctors I know, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We so kind of intermingle them. a lot in our mm-hmm. rotations. So we get to know each other. Yeah. 